Hello there. I am Jesus Christ. And today's Sermon on the Mount is about the Poisson model of mortality. This is one of the more important things I will teach you in my time here. Anna must first understand the parable of the Poisson distribution. And that is very simple, it is a discrete distribution of the number of rare events that occur during a given period of time, for example, the number of particles emitted by radioactive source in one minute, much in the same way, this distribution can be used as to model the number of deaths that occur in an investigation of lives, given time exposed to risk, or the waiting time. In reality, the Poisson distribution is used by insurance companies to model the number of deaths that are observed in an investigation. The model is then used to estimate the unknown force of mortality. This is done by finding the maximum likelihood estimate or MLE of the distribution, with respect to a constant. The true force of mortality is the number of deaths that have occurred over the entire waiting period of the investigation. It is measured on an annualized basis and is the instantaneous rate of mortality, at a given age. There are, however, some limitations to this model. It allows non-zero probabilities to occur for more than the total number of deaths observed in an investigation. It also assumes that the force of mortality is constant between all ages. These factors can be taken into account by adjusting the observational plan of the members. One can continue the investigation until the waiting time reaches a predetermined level. One more key adjustment is to replace each death that occurs with an identical and independent life at the exact moment of death. This keeps the population size constant. No model perfectly mirrors reality, however we can make certain adjustments to try to replicate reality as much as possible. I have been Jesus Christ, thank you for listening. Oh my dad. You guys are very kind, see you same time tomorrow.